guys, it's Sophie here, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Lush product haul. I went to do this a little while ago, um, basically because I have been very busy with a panto I'm currently performing in, and so I am finally getting around to it. So I'm just going to put a towel on my lap quickly because some of these bad bombs I've got are very glittery and I don't want to get it all over the bed. Um, I'm going to start, I have used some of these products already, including one bath bomb already. Uh, I'll explain when I go around to doing the bath bombs. So I'm going to start off with the other products first. The first one I am absolutely in love with right now is the Curly Whirly Shampoo. Um, it's coconut shampoo, it's filled with, what is it filled with here? Uh, it's a rich shampoo uh, crowned with real coconut and added deep condition for hair and defined basically to find your curls and I have naturally curly hair I have very curly hair um, and so I really wanted to find something that would help it and the lady who helped me in the shop who was very very lovely um, and the car money's worth out of me uh, I, thought Carrie, I saw that Carrie Hope Fletcher was using this and I thought I'll give it a try the rest of this is this is Carrie Hope Fletcher I it. that now um, but basically I've, I've got like a quarter of the pot left, I've got like one more wash left out of it, but it just looks like this and it it's the most coconutty smelling thing I have ever smelled. And I'm not the biggest fan of coconut. Um, when I first started using it, I was, it, I'm used to thinner uh, shampoos like LV or whatever brand I'm using at the time. And um, so, because it's packed full of desiccated coconut, it's, I found it a bit harder to wash out, it just means you've got to take a little more time and care of washing it out. I always find if I can't get it all out when I'm washing it out, I put it in my conditioner, leave the conditioner in like I normally do when I'm washing my body and that. And then I, hopefully the conditioner helps to get rid of it. And if not, I'll just brush out the rest of the coconut. It's very easy to get out in that way. And it just, I, I need to get another one. I only got the, was it, the 222 one just to try it out. Um, I'm definitely purchasing the biggest one. Um, well, <laughs> next is Let the Good Times Roll, which is a face scrub, which I've tried before and I absolutely loved it. And I knew I had to go back and get the bigger pot. This one is the what size pot is this one? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say, but I think it's the 220. I think it looks like this. It's just. It smells of popcorn and oh my god is it amazing. Sorry, I've got a mirror behind me, so if I look up it's because of that. So I can see what I'm doing on uh, the camera. And um, you just basically have a little bit in your hand, you put a little bit of water in and you just rub it on your face and wash it off. And it, uh, it really helps. You get my skin being really smooth and it just smells so good. I love it. <sighs> Again, recommended by Carrie Hope Fletcher. And um, all the Luscious products are also vegan and vegetarian and cruelty free which is brilliant also i forgot to mention this i'm no way sponsored by lush i just love their products and um i will continue to use their products so i'm no way sponsored don't think i am i'd love to be but i'm not so yeah <laughs> next one i've been using recently but i kind of not been using it as much recently but that's because I've just been busy and I forget is Sleepy which is a body lotion that has lavender in it and oatmeal infusion it basically I I've used this about three no not no, three like five or more times and I've barely like made a dent and I've got the biggest I've got one of the bigger pots of it I should have got a smaller pot ready to try it out with but it smells very good. I found, the first night I used it, I hadn't been getting very good sleep and then when I used it, I got some of the best sleep I had, <laughs> I've had for a while. Um, so this is definitely a lifesaver for when doing panto or shows because I get very, very tired after doing a show and so it's nice to just come home, slap some of this on my shoulders and my arms and my chest and then curl up in bed and just be able to get a good night's sleep to refresh for the next show. Last one that's not 
bath related but shower related is the Snow Fairy uh, shower gel <laughs> and um, I can ha this is this smells amazing like if I can get it open oh, there we go it is so sorry this smells so amazing and it's like I'm annoyed it only comes out during Christmas because I really want to get a bigger bottle now because of the fact that when my boyfriend comes down to stay because he lives in London he uses my shower gel <laughs> so he uses this which I like mine because it only smells brilliant and um I'm like halfway three quarters of the way through this pot now so it needs it even needs to be slowed down on using it <laughs> or only they need to release it permanently so I can get a bigger bottle of it because I could do with a big bottle but yeah my, it's like normal my, I'm usually a Zoella beauty product based person I love her products I'll probably do a haul on that at some point um, cause I have quite a lot ooh that's my phone going off <laughs> and um so yeah, this is definitely a really great product. I love it. Uh, it smells... So, what does it say inside of it? Uh, it doesn't... So I can't really find where it's meant to be in there, but... Oh, uh, it's like candy scents. Scents? Scents. Uh, so, it smells really good. If you're around at Christmas time, I definitely suggest getting it. It's so good. Like, apparently like everyone stocks up on it at Christmas time because it only comes out at that time and so it's really good I recommend that one <laughs> now on to the bath bombs <laughs> uh, I've got quite a few um, just because I'm a bath bomb fiend and um, I like bath bombs and I think when I go lush I just gotta wear some this, this one isn't isn't lush this is a super drug I think but it's in my bath bomb box um, so the first one I'm going to start off with because I've already got it in my lap it was for my sister for Christmas but I lost it and I only recently found it so I will be giving it to her I haven't opened it and I don't want to wreck the packaging but I'm going to open it and show you Sorry, Katie, I'm opening your Christmas present. <laughs> this is the Snowman Bubble Rune. It's a bubble bar, so you basically just essentially crumble it under the running water. Oh, he's lost some his little things, but he looks like this. It's a little cute little snowman. Oh, it's just all so fresh. And um, that would be really, I thought that would be really cute for her for Christmas and then I lost it, like I said. I think it's got like sheer butter and stuff like that and so it's really moisturising which is good. Uh, I'm sorry about all these terrible descriptions of things. So, next one I'm going to pull out, so I'm going to use one of these after this. <laughs> is the Bewitched Bubble Bar, again, you kind of just... I think you can put it under hot water, but I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna shove them in the bath. Some of these are Halloween related because I missed out Halloween. Oh, his eyes, his eyes melted, come off. Um, this is one of the Halloween ones, and um, it looks like a little black cat, and it turns your water black. And um, I'm all about that. So it smells really good. I can't. I don't know what kind of scent it is, but it's really nice. This is basically going to be the description of all of them. But yeah, a little kitty. Which I was considering giving to a friend as well, actually. But I just like bath bombs. <laughs> Next is the Intergalactic, which is just. Shoot, ripped it. I don't think I've opened many of these. I feel like pre opened these. intergalactic like we all know what it looks like and um oh that smells really good i'm holding it up or down very well yeah the intergalactic lovely lovely colors in that one and i'm getting 
colouring all over my hands so I'm going to start putting these back in the box as I go I think. Next I have, this is meant to say the comforter but the writing's come off of it because it's been that long since I've had these and it's a uh, bubble, bubble bar I believe so you just crumble it and put it in water and it turns your bath pink oh it's the most, this smells like a refresher legit straight up refresher oh I think I might have to use this the one I did have that I've used already is shoot for the stars and it turned uh, your water like blue with the, then the stars melt I'll have to insert the clip that I've got from my Instagram um, up on there or you go to my Instagram and see the clip but I'll probably enter it into this video uh, next I've got the experimenter I'm really trying not to rip these open but I might just have to I should have pre-opened these I'm an idiot which looks like this and it's very pretty again all these smell really really fresh and it's really nice and these colours would look so beautiful in a bath this is also just a low key video of me trying to figure out what bath form to use just for my show tonight <laughs> oh I feel bad for my towel now because it's going to be just covered in colours another Halloween one is the pumpkin bath bomb Again, that was Halloween stuff so I wanted to give it a try. And it looks like this with a little smiley face. Hmm. Doesn't this should have made it smell like pumpkin or something. I think it smells more like oranges than anything else. Which is really nice. It should be ooh, I'm getting dust everywhere. That'd be really nice just to Playing a bath nice and orange. Next, I have the Golden Wonder Bath Bomb, which I know is going to get a load of colour everywhere in my goodness. And it looks like this it's a little present and it has uh, different colours in it. So this one's got, I think, blue in it, I think. As you can see from my hands, the dust gets everywhere um and it just smells so good like me and my sister were like yeah this is the one we need this is the one that would be really good for new year's eve or christmas eve and um oh it just it just smells so good probably shouldn't put it in there i don't want to get back in the packet <laughs> Next is the Aero Bath Bath Bomb. I've had this one before and I really, really liked it. Like, I love the colours in it. I mostly go by colour. But the scent was really good. I found it to be really relaxing. It's just this little, little green, little green one. It has pink inside, pink inside, I believe. Yeah, it just smells really good. I know it's got like avocado properties in it or scent or something in it. I know it has something to do with avocados. Um, but yeah, that's, that's one of my favourites, I think. I did used to love the Frozen Bath Bomb, but I know they discontinued that one, which is really sad. And this is the Snow Fairy Jelly Bomb. This is the only bath bomb that's different from the others, I believe. Um, so it looks like this, it's in the Snow Fairy scent, I don't know if you can see that properly. It's in the Snow Fairy scent, so the same scent as the body wash. And then uh, when it dissolves it has a it forms a layer of jelly on your bath, like on the bath water, and then within 20 minutes, well after 20 minutes it just melts down and you can drain it out the tub. So it's not going to block anything up apparently or anything like that. So. I thought it'd be like quite nice and interesting to try, which I might actually try later. I'll let you know on my Instagram how that goes. So that's really nice. That's very different to try. I've like they've only really introduced the jelly palms recently. 
probably because I've only heard about them recently. But they seem really cool. Uh, next is Thunder Snow, which when I said about the frozen bath from the lady, she was like, oh, this one's really good if you want to have a replica of it, but not exactly like it. And it looks like this. I think it looks like planet Earth. Let's be honest here. It looks like Earth, the Earth. And it smells straight up like a Tic Tac. Yep, straight up a Tic Tac. Because it's mint and it just smells like a Tic Tac to me. Um, so that's really cool. It should be a bath blue and green, which is a really nice colour combination because they're two of my favourite colours. Then last but not least, we're finally getting through this last product. Is the Twilight Bath Bomb, which I'll be using on either Sunday or the Monday after I finish Pantex, I finish on Sunday. It's the Twilight Bath Bomb and it smells of lavender, which is the same scent as in Sleepy. And it's also in the same scent as the Twilight Spray, which you can spray on your pillow and you can then help you get a better night's sleep. My sister's used this one before and she highly recommended it. And I haven't, I didn't get one until recently, so. It just smells really nice. I think like if you've had a really stressful day or you just need to relax and calm down, this is just a really good one to go for because it's going to help you relax and it just, it seems like it's going to be a really good one to help you get to sleep as well later in the evening. Ooh, I'm get it back in. There and so that's it. That is my Lush haul. Um, let me know what your favourite products are down below. Um, message me on cons so, social media. To let me know uh, if there's any good Lush products you'd recommend or in the comments you can do that as well. My social media links are below. I'll leave the Lush website below even though I'm not sponsored by them. I think you should go and check out all these products because they're really good. I'm definitely not sponsored by them. As much as I'd like to be, I'm not. And um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.